Hello, I'm James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Let's start the timer, and we're going to talk about the harmonic progression chart that we used to explain the generic functions like tonic dominant, predominant, preparatory, so on and so forth. But now we're going to talk about it in terms of minor keys. So I'm going to go over here, and we're going to hit this. And we're going to start with tonic over here on the right side. And in fact, I'm going to give myself a little bit more room because I have it. So I'm going to put tonic. So now, remember, in minor, tonic is going to be minor because it's going to be a minor triad because you're in a minor key. So this needs to be a lowercase Roman numeral 1. And just as in major, it can go anywhere. That's what the dotted line signifies is that um, the tonic can go anywhere. And actually, most of the rest of this chart is going to be the same uh, as far as the placement of the Roman numerals, it's just that the cases of the Roman numerals are going to be a little bit different. Now, dominant happens to be the same because in both major and minor, dominant are always going to be the same because we raised that, that leading tone. So that box is exactly the same as it was in major. Now, here's the one that's a little bit different as far as the qualities go. So we have subdominant, which is minor in a minor key, and supertonic, which is actually diminished. And that's the only difference is that there's uh, different qualities there. And then instead of the submediant being minor, it's major. And then sub, or sorry, mediant is also major. Now there's something that happens in minor that doesn't happen in major. And in order to do this, I'm going to need to clear a little bit more space. So I'll replace what I just wrote, but just take up a little bit less space. So we have submediant there, and then we have mediant here. If we take a chord and build it from the natural seventh scale degree in minor instead of the leading tone, that raised seventh scale degree, you end up with a major triad. That major triad is all the way here at the end of the harmonic progression. Now you can't really see that all the way, so I'll try my best to get this to where you can see the whole thing. That's a little bit better. Okay, this chord is built from the, again, the natural seventh scale degree, and it's a major triad, and it's called subtonic. Now, notice that subtonic and leading tone are about as far apart from each other as they could possibly be. Um, functionally, they perform two absolutely different functions. In no way is a subtonic a leading tone chord. The leading tone belongs to the dominant uh, box of generic progression or generic functions, I should say. Here's tonic and then here's predominant and then the preparatory chords over here in order of how far they are away from the tonal center. So the subtonic is considered not only a preparatory chord, it's the farthest preparatory chord from the tonal center when the leading tone's job is to go directly to tonic because of its dominant function. So it's really easy to mistake the two for each other because it's the same Roman numerals, but um, they are very, very different from each other. Let's, before we're out of time, take a look at what this looks like on the staff. I still have my preparatory stuff here, so let's take a quick eraser to that. And we're going to take this preparatory subtonic chord, and uh, it's not the best trouble clef I've ever written, but it'll work. And let's do the key of D minor. In fact, my favorite key. D minor has one flat. So if we look at um, some of the diatonic chords in D minor, here's tonic, and then here's subdominant, for example, like that. Now, the subtonic would be built from the natural seventh scale degree, which would here be C natural. This is that subtonic chord. If we raise the leading tone by turning the C into a C sharp, this is now a leading tone chord. They're very, very different from each other. So I see a lot of the time for first semester music theory students, they make the mistake of um, confusing these two with each other. Please make sure you don't confuse them with each other. The subtonic is very far from the tonal center. The leading tone, in fact, leads us back to the tonal center, so it's very close too because it's uh, a dominant function. Thank you.